today i will try to discuss a very important topic so today i will try to show you that how you can easily calculate the land surface temperature using the google earth engine and in this time here i use the landsat 8 satellite imagery so first of all i will try to discuss about the what is the algorithm or follow flow chart when you want to make the land surface temperature in the landsat 8 satellite imagery so first of all here you can see this is the follow chart so mainly when you want to work with the landsat 8 satellite imagery you want to create it the lst map or observe the land surface temperature condition then we need to uh, use this follow chart and you can easily make the lst map so here you can see first of all i will try to discuss about the follow chart in this follow chart here you can see here we use the landsat 8 satellite data two types of landsat satellite data here we used so first of all here you can see first data is that tirs data it means that this is the thermal infrared sensor and another data is that oli data it is the operational land imager and then we can also take from the thermal infrared sensor take the thermal infrared band and we know that the thermal infrared band name is that band 10 okay and also you can see another hand when i use the oli this is the optical this is the operational land imager and from this we can take the two band uh band near infrared as well as also take the band red band so this is the namely is the b5 and v4 we can take and then you can see from this from the thermal infrared band 10 we calculated the top of atmospheric spectral radiance okay so top of atmospheric reflectance is a unit less measurement which provides the ratio of reflected to the incident solar radiation on a given surface it can be computed from satellite measure spectral radiance using the mean solar spectral irradiance and the solar zenith angle okay and from this we can calculate the brightness temperature or tb 10 this temperature we can brightness and from this we can also identify the surface emissivity so emissivity is the defined as the ratio of the energy uh, radiated from a material surface to that uh, radiated from the perfect emitter known as the black body okay and then also you can see and another data set we, uh, from the band near infrared and band red we can simply calculate the normalized difference vegetation index from this normalized vegetation index we can simply calculate the vegetation proportion okay and then we can easily use here the all, all of the equation and you can easily get all of the equation from this link here you can see this is the link so mainly in this website they are showing the all of the process uh, uh, in the traditional way okay all of the process in the traditional way how you can easily calculate the land surface temperature using the landsat 8 satellite imagery using the arc map software or qjs software we already know about that when you want to work with the arcgs software then there you need to lot of process you need to need you need to download the satellite imagery you also need to download the different types of band and other things you need to do lot of things when you want to work with the traditional software okay but in this time we convert this method in coding then we can easily get the result from here and we can easily get all of the results so in this time i just showing the process uh, when they are using the traditional way so here you can see you can simply go to this website and you can easily find out all of the details about this process so here you can see they are mainly calculated the landsat 8 uh, this satellite imagery for making the land surface temperature estimate uh, okay and then is there mainly used for the arc map software also you can use the arcgs pro software or if you want you can also use here the qjs software so first step is that when you want to work with the arc map software or qjs software or arcgs pro software first of all you need to download the landsat 8 satellite imagery 
and then you also need to down uh, land surface temperature using the landsat 8 bands in particular band 10 is the thermal band and you also need to know the band 4 and 5 this is the red and near infrared band for calculating the normalized difference vegetation index okay so they are also you can see then they are also calculating the top of atmospheric spectral radiance this is the formula okay I uh, can see uh, what is the process they are on to you can see also here also you can see they are use the raster calculator because they are use the arc map software okay so also you can see their top of brightness temperature conversation there you can uh, uh, calculated the brightness temperature also you can see they are calculated the BT okay brightness temperature from this uh, equation and also you can see they are calculated the NDVI okay so this is the formula for the near infrared band minus red band divided by near infrared band plus red band okay and uh, they are also calculated the vegetation you can see vegetation proportion they are also calculated the vegetation proportion okay uh, okay so this is the this is the uh, equation for the calculating the proportion of vegetation or pv okay so in this time they are also you can see they are created the different types of layer uh, first of all they are created the ndvi they are created the brightness layer they are also uh, this is the top of atmospheric imagery so there are a lot of things uh, they are make the layer in here they when they are using the um, the traditional software also you can see this is the fractional ndvi or proportion ndvi they are calculated using this equation also you can see they calculated the calculated the emissivity you can see this is the equation okay so uh, all of the things they are is, uh, using the arc map software and finally they are calculated the land surface temperature so this is the equation for the land surface temperature so mainly land surface temperature you can see that use the bt brightness temperature and lawn you can see so there is the equation uh, for the finally apply the lst equation obtain the surface temperature of map okay and they are simply uh, showing the result in the lst okay in this time when you want to convert this all of the algorithm in google earth engine platform then you can easily get the result okay and this result you can get the very quickly and efficiently and in this time google earth engine is a platform so that's why you don't need to download the landsat imagery or other things okay so this is the best advantage when you want to work with the google earth engine platform and you can easily apply all of the algorithm all of the equation which we already shown in the method we can easily apply all of the equation and we can easily create the land surface temperature like this here you can see this is the land surface temperature for the Dhaka city year of uh, 2020 so here you can see here we also use for the all of the band we need we can see so this is um, this is our images okay also you can see from the images we calculated the NDVI also we calculated the thermal you can see also you can see you can see this is the uh, vegetation proportion or fractional vegetation also you can see emissivity okay and finally we can calculate the lst so according to the process uh according to the process all of the equation we can just put in our code and then we can easily get the result and now you can easily using the code for any region not only for this Dhaka region, you can easily apply any boundary shape file and you can easily get this result. Okay, so here we already write all of the code in here. So all of the imagery, all of the things we can easily observe using this code. Okay, for monitoring the land surface temperature using the Google Earth Engine platform. And this is the very quick way when you want to monitor the land surface temperature, you can easily very quickly and efficiently you can monitor the land surface temperature using the Landsat 8 satellite imagery. But when you want to move to the traditional software, then you can see there are the lot of process you want to need, you want to calculate the top of atmospheric, lot of the equation but when you want to the land survey uh, google earth engine platform just you can use this code and you can easily determine the any region land surface temperature what is the condition of the land surface temperature uh, you can easily make the land surface temperature map all of the things you can do and finally you can easily export this map as a tiff format and you can finally make the map layout like this here you can see they are already make the map layout like this you can see they are make the map layout Okay, so you can easily make the map layout like this in ArcMap software for your mapping your uh, research paper or other things you can easily do. So 
I hope you can easily do this and if you have need any help or anything about this code then you can just contact with me or if you want you can also join my online training session for Google Earth Engine platform for the beginners to advanced level okay so you can easily join with me and uh, first of all I also said that uh, in this time I will also start the new course in Google Earth Engine platform for the seven days from beginners to advanced as well as also three days only for the beginners okay so mainly i will focus only for those people who who don't have any programming language uh, for the javascript or python or uh, don't any knowledge about the google 